Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Justice League issue number 41. Yeah, as you can see, and I'm here. It's Steve. Hope you guys have liked it. My all of the reviews. So, here we go with this review also. But let me tell you about this one that this is the first time this writers are combining and doing this kind of big project. And Justice League is not a small one, it's totally a big one. And I really like it. That's why I. I, all the time I loved it so it started with a really good kind of uh, intense moment and uh, that's why the totally this series is likable and enjoyable so here we go with this review from alcomic.com so this is by Eric Gonzalez this review is really cool and it's a really good start of a new kind of Justice League and this is Dark Side War so this got as usual 5 out of 5 this is super cool so here we go the beautiful synthesis of the collaboration between Geoff Jones and Jason Faber is the Dark Seed War. As Dark Seed's emissaries search for someone, they leave a bloody trail that captures the attention of the Justice League. Of course, they encounter a new powerful adversary. Meanwhile, Cut Free, aka Mr. Miracle, makes a grand entrance on Apocalypse. Whoa, just whoa, Jones, Faber, and Brad Anderson deliver an amazing comic. The whole issue is full of iconic writing and artwork. The scenes with Mr. Miracle on Apocalypse are absolutely breathtaking and it's totally cool. Yeah, I'm just getting cold. I'm just feeling cold again. So, but the story is really cool. But lots of writings are over there. But it's not boring because this is a really good growing story. What you can say, there's no getting bored of kind of thing. And as usual, this comic artwork, most of the job leagues are real super cool. And that's why it's kind of a more interesting game and that kind of thing. So it's a totally good read and. I I am really, really excited to tell you that it's a must read kind of thing. So you can mm, hesitate in no kind of, there shouldn't be any hesitate, hesitation while buying this book. So, whoa, just, it's really great. So now the moments with the League are strong as well. There's a bit where Jones illustrates a commonality among the members of the team that just brings a tear to one's eye or mine at least. Of course, Facebook interprets it perfectly worthy of being hung on the wall. Little moments with characters such as one with Shazam show their humanity and really elevate this issue. Something special to note is how Jason and Brad illustrate the Flash. It's a very neat way to depict his pain. I do wish Hal Jordan would have made a grander return but it's still nice to have him back with the group under the pen of Joe. The titular villain also makes an appearance in all his monstrous glory, a behemoth of few words. But the Earth team makes him so menacing and larger than life as dogs it should be. There are some other amazing moments but they treat into spoiler territory. Needless to say, Dark Seed War is off to a stunning start. Yes, this book is priced at 4.9 bucks, but it is a 40 page book from the stellar creative team. It's worth every penny. This is shaping up to be a far better event than Convergence Death to Dark Seed, and this is super cool. So, let's move to ComicVine.com reviews also. And this art, folks, are really, really great. You can see the fire in the illustrations and the whole holding kind of thing and the poses so I'm gonna make one more kind of a show that top 10 illustrations of the week this kind of thing and in that I am expecting that Justice League these illustrations will be there more and more so here we go with the review by Tony Jim and Guerrero so the Justice Leagues are about to get thrown into a war they didn't even know was coming. The good things about this one is let's admit it, there's been a lot of hype for the story arc. We saw how things went between Dark Seed and the Justice Leagues in the first arc of the series. This was the first time Dark Seed's will was denied. He would be coming back with a vengeance. We have also been waiting on this world destroyer that was mentioned by the crime syndicate in Forever Evil. Joining in on the fun is Darkseid's daughter, her mother, as well as Mr. Miracle with the prelude in issue 40 and the sneak peek in the free comic book day issue. It's been hard not to get amped up for this arc. Jeff Jones is known for having a big picture in mind. He plays the long game, looking back, and his 
this series you can see the various seeds he's been planting he's taking advantage of the fact that he has dc's biggest characters at his disposal this does feel like it could be the next big summer comic book event but instead of subjecting us to multitude of times all the action is contained to this one series what more could we ask for? The issue starts out with a dark mystery and we see two familiar figures hunting down a certain person. They clearly will go to any means to find this person. It immediately sets the tone and shows this isn't going to be all fun and games. We are also treated to a wonderful introduction to Mr. Miracle. He has been seen in the New 52 and Earth 2, but his character and background are fleshed out here for those unfamiliar with who he is. When it's time for the Justice League to come into this issue, we are welcomed in a way by Wonder Woman. Johns has managed Mentioned, she would be a central figure in the storyline and it's great to see her inner monologue instead of Batman or Superman's. Seeing the team working together to try to get some answers is great especially since this is the calm before the storm. So Jason Favok's art is simply fantastic. So few bad things are there that it's not necessarily a bad thing but it almost feels like there's too many characters coming into the story. We have seen some characters get nudged out of the spotlight in the post. Hopefully everyone will get a chance to shine at some point. I'm curious about Mr. Miracle. Oh there's another flight is going on above my roof of my house. So. Hope you guys have liked it. This is the ending of this issue. I'm curious about Mr. Miracle being here and what he's done since he was last seen. But that doesn't affect the enjoyment of the story. And this is a really good read. So chapter 1, God vs. Man is here. So have a great day guys. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more amazing shows. I hope just links this issue will have a really good blast so thanks for all of your support i love you guys and go to the store buy this book this worth every penny of your 4.9 bucks have a great day and enjoy the comic book